how was for you the first time? We'll talk about Ilda later on. How was for you <laughs> knowing that maybe you'll be on a Steven Spielberg movie and West Side Story? It was an open cast and mm. everyone could join and you got choose yeah, a chosen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's wild. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you either ever, of us thought it would happen. <laughs> no, honestly, I was like, this is a long shot. And we both almost did an audition. Where yeah, I almost didn't send I, in a tape, and I almost didn't walk in the door. <laughs> Ari was really. Sent- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It yeah. was just luck then. It, it was. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know about luck. A lot of hard work, hard work, determination, and like belief in yourself once you're in the room. Yeah. So and other people believing in us and trusting yeah. us with the timeless classic story. Correct. Yeah, it is timeless. It's 60 years old, the movie, and the, the play is a little bit more um, older. But what do you think it resonates so close to this generation? What people is gonna is gonna see an actual movie, actual events happening in the world, the same that it's happening 60 years ago hasn't changed. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, exactly what you said. It's, it's always been a very yeah. poignant story. It's always been extremely relevant. Um, the way that we tackle it this time around is a lot more socially aware than it was 64, 60 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Tony Kushner took a lot of care into uh, talking to people who lived that experience, whether they were on the, you know, quote unquote, shark side of things or the jet side of things <laughs> and understanding what it was like to really live in 1957 Manhattan, what it was like to be in those low income communities that were being displaced. and. Um, and I think that really is the shining star of our film is context oh. and therefore yeah. informed performances by that context. I think she said it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is right. <laughs> preparation for this movie, for you, you have to sing, you have to dance, you have to act in front of Steven Spielberg. How, how, how grueling was that? Mm. You know, I think not as grueling as you would expect. Um, Steven comes in and creates a set that is just so safe and mm. collaborative and he, he wants you to explore. And, you know, Justin Peck created, you know, a dance studio rehearsal space that, you know, we all warmed up together. Yeah, that was and so fun. It, it was fun. And I think the whole experience was just about telling an authentic, beautiful story. So, so the, the, the heightenedness mm-hmm. of, yeah. you know, how lofty West Side Story can be, like mm-hmm. how acclaimed it is, the, the history around it, the Academy Awards of it all. Mm-hmm. Like you don't, you didn't really feel it. You no, just it, felt like, it's coming on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's coming and, on now that people have seen it. Yeah, but, but during the making of, it was nothing but pure artistic, I don't know, an artistic dream coming true. And it was yeah. familial. And I'm getting people, out. I'm getting people from all over the world. We have Ilda Mason, a Panamanian, and you Ooh. guys, all the cast. How, how was working with this international cast? And tell me something about our dear Ilda. How, how was working with her? Ilda's my best friend, she's so I, yeah, she's yeah. my favorite person in the world. And um, and she's she's just a shining star. You guys yeah. are so lucky to be able to claim she her as your own. Is so brilliant in this film. Yeah. Like what a shining standout. Yeah. I literally walked up to her and I was like, Mamita, when's let's the, talk about how when is the next movie? W- when is the next movie? <laughs> what jobs are we booking? Yeah, what for are we you? getting next? She's so good. Yeah. Um, I hope she's the pride of Panama. Um, I will say though, like being able to have so many different uh, yeah. people from different Latin backgrounds, whether, you know, I'm from Colombia, David Alvarez is from Cuba, mm-hmm. Ariana is Puerto Rican. It was just, uh, it was a beautiful time yeah. every morning to share. And, you know, Carlos Gonzalez brought in cafecito. And we all yeah. greeted each other with besos y abrazos every morning. And it was, it was so important because we got to have these conversations about Oh, did, did you watch this when you were young? Did you listen to this music yeah. when you were Did you like Mark Anthony or when you were a Shakira girl? Like it was, yeah, yeah. It was that kind of thing. And I, I love that. And I don't think I've ever had that in my life. I've, n- I've, I've never, never seen it. so many Latinos in one place. Right. <laughs> well, and it was so nice because we're all so different. We have mm-hmm. so many different life experiences. And and you, there was no difference between any of us. We were, yeah. It was all about community mm-hmm. and finding the things that just like allowed us to celebrate being Latinos and how beautiful yeah. it is. And it didn't matter if someone was blank enough. 
Right? Yeah. Am I Colombian enough? enough? Am I Latin enough? Like it, it's not a thing when you're actually mm. sitting with a group of Latina folks and it's you're talking really wonderful. about it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We're just people. Thank you, girls. Yes. Gracias. Y hay que ver with my story. Amor sin barreras. Chao. Amor sin barreras. Yeah. Thank you.